Four start. 25. Booster hydraulic power units have started. 20. Sound suppression water system has started. 15. T minus 13 seconds. 10. T minus 10, Let's go, go for main, main engine, engine start. start. We are go for main engine start. T minus 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope, our window on the universe. Mission Control Houston. Roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. The roll maneuver puts the vehicle in the proper launch plane. Guidance officer confirms a good roll maneuver. Engines now throttling back. The throttle down maneuver assists in reducing the aerodynamic loads on Discovery as it passes through the area of not maximum dynamic pressure. Velocity now 1,200 feet per second, discovery downrange 3 nautical miles. Discovery, go with throttle up. All three engines now throttle back up. Go with throttle up. Engines at 104%, the go at throttle up call signifies that all systems are performing well. All three auxiliary power units look good. Discovery's velocity now 2,300 feet per second and is downrange 8 nautical miles. Standing by for SRB separation. And both solid rocket boosters have separated. Discovery's velocity now 4,300 feet per second at a downrange distance of 35 nautical miles. Booster officer reports all three engines stable at 104% performance. Discovery Houston, performance is nominal. And Discovery two-engine Ben Gurrier. The two-engine Ben Gurrier call means that uh, Discovery could reach the transatlantic abort site at Ben Gurrier on two engines if it were necessary. Copy nominal performance two-engine Ben. Velocity now 5,000 feet per second. Discovery 60 nautical miles away from the launch site. All systems continuing to perform well aboard Discovery. Velocity now is 6,200 feet per second. Downrange 100 nautical miles. The uh, environmental systems officer reports the FES is operating well. That is the flash evaporator system that provides cooling to Discovery systems. Discovery Houston, negative return, press to ATO, select band jewel. Negative return, press to ATO. That last call means that Discovery cannot return to the launch site at Kennedy. However, uh, enough energy uh, has been achieved to reach a safe orbit on two engines should one shut down. 
And uh, Discovery could also reach the backup transatlantic abort site at Banjul if that were necessary. All three engines are stable at 104%. Auxiliary power units all performing well. Discovery's velocity is 8,400 feet per second at a downrange distance of 175 nautical miles. Discovery, press to Miko. Press to Miko. The press to Miko call signifies that Discovery could make the main engine cutoff target. Discovery, Droop Banjo 109. Droop 109. And that last call means that uh, Discovery could reach the Banjul transatlantic site on one engine at 109%. All three engines still looking good. Discovery's velocity 12,000 feet per second. Downrange 290 nautical miles at an altitude of 60 nautical miles. Guidance officer confirms that navigation is good. Discovery, single engine Banjo 104. Single engine Banjo 104. Booster officer reports uh, all three engines stable. Houston, single engine press 104. The single engine press call means that uh, Discovery could make it to main engine cutoff targets on one engine at 104%. Discovery's velocity now 16,000 feet per second, an altitude of 58 nautical miles, downrange 435 nautical miles. Discovery, late call, single engine press 104. Roger. CSL PH, we expect it. Discovery Houston, concur. No action on fuel cell PH. No action is required. No impact on that uh, PH message. That uh, message was expected during this phase of the launch. Velocity now 19,000 uh, feet per second. Three engines throttling back now to maintain the 3G limits on the uh, vehicle. Discovery is 580 miles away from Kennedy at an altitude of 56 nautical miles. We are standing by for main engine cutoff at uh, 8 minutes 32 seconds mission elapse time. Good week, uh, looks uh, nominal from here. And the booster officer also confirms a, a nominal main engine cutoff. Discovery, we see ET SEP. Nominal Miko, Ohms 1 is not required. The booster officer has also Ohms confirmed. No Ohms 1 required. This is Mission Control. The booster officer confirms a good separation from the external tank, and the flight dynamics officer confirms good performance on both uh, phases of the ascent. No uh, orbital maneuvering, maneuvering systems one burn is required.